What's up, DNM crew? Welcome back to another Cook With Us video. We actually haven't come up with a name yet, huh? I think a lot of people liked In the Kitchen with Destiny, Destiny and Mitch, Mitch. In mm -hmm. the Kitchen with DNM. Yeah. In the Kitchen with DNM crew. Because you're always with us, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like In the Kitchen with Destiny and Mitch. Yeah. We're still figuring it out, but welcome yeah. back to another cooking video with us. Right now, we're about to go to the grocery store so that we can get all the ingredients for our guacamole today. Guacamole. Mitch. I'm telling you, I don't even, I didn't even like guacamole before this girl. <laughs> what? No, seriously. And then she made guacamole. And it just happened to be really good because you'll see why. How could you not like guacamole? When you go to like Applebee's or Chili's. Oh, or that's something not like good that. guacamole. That's what I'm saying. That's the only place I've ever had it. No, 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 no. My guacamole is. Don't blame me, guys. On point. <laughs> So we're gonna head to the grocery store, bring you guys along to yep. pick out all the ingredients and necessities for the recipe. But first, we're getting donuts at this apple orchard because we yes. just got to. So we will probably be back with some donuts, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> getting cotton candy grapes. We'll just stick with the little baby ones. What are you doing? All right, I'm just feeling them to make sure they're soft enough to use right away. Um, maybe. This one looks good. This is another thing I learned. I don't know if it's true, it might be false, but this little stem thing, you see it? Yep. <laughs> if you take it off and it's white, then that means it's ripe. That's probably false, but. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you learn that from? <laughs> not a trusted source. Your mother? Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that, Edna? She said that you are not a trusted I'm source. I'm just joking. I don't know. I love your mother's cooking, so I think she's a trusted source. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, you have a beautiful ring, miss. Thank you. I have ashy fingers, too, so oh, wait. don't talk about me. <laughs> Feel it. Too hard? Too moist. Too what? Too moist. Too moist? Is there such thing? No. All right, what are you doing here? No, you <laughs> stop. I'm doing the same exact thing. Hey, these are all hard. <laughs> How soft do they need to be? I don't know. You still want them, like, super duper firm. Like, that's way too hard. You know, yeah. this one's kind of soft. Feel it. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Well, I need more than one <laughs> tomato. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> We're making a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> now, what else we need, baby? For um, green onions. Green onions. Like scallions. I don't know. Sure. Spring onions. I don't know why they are called spring onions. Mm -hmm. First try. First try. Got some good ones. Yes, I did. See, they're called green onions, not spring onions. All right, guys, we just talked to someone who also has a YouTube channel, and since we like to help out people, go check them out. Mac Attack Online. Yep. It was. We'll MAC. Put it on the yep, we'll put it on the screen. Go check them out. If you like his stuff, maybe subscribe. God, doesn't this just look beautiful, though? Like all these greens Produce. and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? A hedge ball? Is that supposed to like resemble a hedgehog? That's so weird. Yeah, we're good. Cool. <laughs> Match that mixture. You want to get a darker one. I mean, it's just so colorful. I love it. Feels like life. <laughs> it feels like a life. Yeah, that's what we need more. It's like fruits and veggies in the house to liven yeah. up everything. No, that definitely is like a thing. I will give. Vegetarians, this meat always has something to do with blood and guts and gore. Vegetarians just eat stuff that's grown. It's all peace. <laughs> I think this is a good one. We're just gonna do this little guy. What else? Avocado, Sour cream. Tomato, green onion, cilantro, fresh garlic. Yeah, I'll go with the sour cream. Shall we? What are you doing? We're not here for I want yogurt. yogurt. <laughs> Wait, guys, check it out. Been in the wild. Everywhere. We're matching. Always generic. Generic brand? It's just as good. <laughs> the only time you don't do generic is when you've had it and you know it's not as good. <laughs> guys, is it as big of a struggle for any of you guys out there <laughs> for a girl just to pick a simple no. sour cream? 
No, 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 no. This is not a sample sour cream. The expiration date, I always look at the expiration date. It's like she's picking out avocados, though. It's like, wait, this one feel good? <laughs> No way, I have to say something. I don't know about what you, you guys. guys, say, huh? I, what you, guys say? <laughs> you guys, I always look for the thing with the farthest out expiration date. Like the one I picked up first had November 4th, and then I saw a November 7th one. So it was like right. three days. All right, you got a system, I feel it. Packer fan gone mad. <laughs> Are you a Viking fan now? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. Ready? Mm -hmm. We got all the ingredients right here for our guacamole. This recipe was actually kind of inspired by a HelloFresh recipe that I saw. So yeah, thank you HelloFresh for the idea and we're just switching it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So these are our ingredients right here. What we got? We got some Roma tomatoes, garlic, lime, green onions, not spring onions, yep. <laughs> green onions, avocados, cilantro, and then our secret ingredient, sour cream. Mm. This is gonna make it creamier and Super delicious. So let's get chopping. Wash those hands, girl. Wash those hands. Wash those hands. <laughs> wash those hands. Mm. Avocado. Mm -hmm. Wash them avocados. Wash them avocados. Mm. There we go. Professional cuts, people. <laughs> okay, maybe not so much. I'm no, just it was. <laughs> Is it good? That was a bronze <gasps> cut. Hold on. All right, guys. Hold on. All right, guys. Oh, it's turn. Nice. Wow. There we go. Oh. Hey, don't. You're gonna cut yourself, girl. I'm trying to get the seed out. Okay. Ah! About to have a viral video. Girlfriend cuts hand off. <laughs> Seriously, while cooking. Oh I was gonna God. say that would be funny, but no. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I'm sure everyone knows how to make guacamole. Not uh, me. How many of our subscribers out there are like me and have? No idea what they're doing in the kitchen. I don't think everyone's a master chef like you and your mom. I love this shirt because it has the beginning of the Old Testament written right here. In the beginning and all that stuff. You're a cutie McGeauty. A cutie McGeauty. Yeah. All right. What is up with these? Sorry, guys. I'm not the neatest at, like, seeding the avocado, but I'm trying my best. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. We are gonna get chopping on the veggies too, so this is where I wash my hands and yep. we get going. Look at these perfect avocado slices. Mm. Are you juggling? Please do not drop a tomato when you eat those. <laughs> mixture of green and white, red and green, <laughs> green and green, black and white. No, I'm <laughs> You are so funny. You chop those up very nicely. Oh, thank you. You chop up some cilantro. Usually I take a lot of time on like picking it off stem by stem, but honestly, you do not need to do that. That's just yeah. time consuming. It's kind of a dull knife, but. Yeah, it is. Cut that stuff, girl. <laughs> also guys, I'm sure all of you know how to make guacamole. You can literally add as much of whatever as you want. Yep. I feel like it's based on what you like. We're yep. gonna add a lot of cilantro because I like cilantro, so that's what we're gonna do. And honestly, you could add red onion instead of green onion. Yep. You could add bacon to this. Mm -hmm. um, you, you could, could add, add feta, cheese, feta cheese, Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream, mm -hmm. jalapenos or red jalapenos chilies if you if want you're... super hot. Mm -hmm. Our absolute favorite yep. in every dish, like we said, yep. we never go a dish without garlic, ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. We made a soup with garlic, stuffed shells with garlic. There's been a lot of garlic actually. So <laughs> and you we're guys not stopping. That. Nope, you guys know. We love garlic. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's how much garlic we added. It's just on top there, and a little bit more. As you can see, it's coming together, all the good parts of it. Now we're going to wash my hands because they're freaking sticky. You wash them hands. <laughs> and then we're going to wash this lime. Mm -hmm. 
so to get all the juices flowing in your line, you're just gonna wanna roll it, kind of knead it. All right, get like them flowing. Yeah. What's the technique? <laughs> the roll of the wrist. Ooh, good old line. <laughs> and this just like keeps it from browning, and it also adds like that little tang. You know, you need some tang in your life. <laughs> this thing is so juicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Kosher salt. There we go. Not too much because we're gonna add garlic salt and mm -hmm. we want more of that than anything. Lowry's garlic salt. <laughs> Whenever I'm thirsty, I just go for my nice Lowry's garlic salt. It's the best. <laughs> and you know, we like our garlic, so we're also adding garlic powder. And this doesn't like season it, that just brings out the garlic flavor. And then we put a little bit of cayenne up in there. Just a little bit. It was a little bit blurry, but we are all good because you said it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, some pepper. black pepper. Yes. <laughs> all right, and our last secret ingredient to make it all creamy. Sour cream. Sour cream. Sour cream. Now this we're not gonna go crazy on. We literally just want it so we can make it like a little bit creamy and more rich. <laughs> Don't rock boat. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty big spoon. So just so you can see the comparison, we're just gonna do, just to start. If you wanna add more, you definitely can. If you want it creamier, cream. Creamier. <laughs> if you want it creamier, you can obviously add as much as you want. We're just gonna do this for now. And if we wanna add more later, then we can. I don't have an avocado masher, so we're just gonna. We have an avocado masher. Those hands, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job, actually. You stand aside. Cooking makes me feel like, you know, back in the days, you know, when we didn't have McDonald's and Burger King and stuff. <laughs> right. So you leave the tomatoes in there. They're nice and chunky. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you don't like them, you can pick out. Don't play with the food, hon. Cooking in the kitchen. Yo, Gotti. No. I've been standing in the kitchen over the stove just while we've been Oh, doesn't it look great? It's really seasoned. I like it. Good. Whoa. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. Just yeah. make sure not to double dip. Alright guys, but give this a try. Let us know how it turns out. If you like it, it's really quick, really simple. Just a quick trip to the shop and then you come and make it. It takes about, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah. less. Yeah. And so yeah, let us know what you think. That's our guacamole recipe. It's a little bit different with the sour cream. And we will see you next time on In the Kitchen with D&M Crew.